Corporate branding is, um, is very important because not only should the item be well regarded, but it makes a big difference if your company is well regarded. Here's a chart that was researched and it has six factors that contribute to a strong reputation as a company. Uh, probably number one is products and services. In other words, you're not going to have a strong reputation unless your products and services are seen to be first class. Uh, but then secondly, and it depends on, it may be vision and leadership. We, uh, there's, usually we get an idea of the quality of the management, the CEO. You know, like if Jack Welch is running GE, we know he, he, he's been fabulous at doing that. And, and we, we, we believe that company's well managed. Um, Richard Bramson, uh, we would say, wow, what, a le what leadership that is. That's great. Okay, then uh, we also know reputations are based on financial performance. I mean, oh, we might say every year that company does a good job financially and we respect it. Uh, the workplace environment, um, you know, 100 best places to work for. And, uh, and how well do they treat the employees? And then it leaves, what, a few other things like uh, emotional connection, something about the company that appeals to us. And then finally, social responsibility itself, which is part of the emotions, may or may not be. So those things contribute to a strong reputation. And there was a, a wonderful experiment by Ted Levitt, uh, former president, uh, a former marketing uh, guy at Harvard, very good guy. Ted did an experiment. He, he, he produced a film, and, it, and you were all buyers of computer systems. And you had to make a choice. Are you going to buy from company X or Y? So you watch the film, and initially you see a person walk in, and he's just a salesman from IBM. And he's going to sell you on his company as the source of a good computer system. He's very professional. Very cool, not cool, kind of uh, formal. You don't like him that much, but he, he's really very competent and he talks about why you should buy the IBM. Then there's a, a second film, a fellow appears, and you like him instantly, answers your questions beautifully. Um, he's from the XYZ company. And then you're asked, who are you going to buy your, your computer from? So he takes a vote with the audience. And of course, who gets the vote? N not IBM gets the vote. You don't like the IBM guy. In other words, the, sales man, the, the quality of the salesperson is much more than overcome by the quality of the name of the company and its reputation. Because if the computer system fails, you can't blame the guy from buying from IBM, right? But you could blame him for from buying from XYZ because it's not the stra same standing as a company. So all that that, that little anecdote is about the importance of, of, of your reputation. And, uh, and you have to preserve and protect and enhance your reputation. 